President Obama broke the news of bin Laden's death to the country in a dramatic late night speech ending a mission of almost 10 years. And Jake Tapper is at the White House with the latest details of this top secret operation over months. Jake, good morning. Good morning, Diane. That's right. In preparation for this operation, sources tell ABC News that the military recreated a replica of the compound for Navy SEALs to practice this operation. Tensions were high in the White House situa Situation Room uh, yesterday as those helicopters full of Navy SEALs went to the compound in the middle of the night in Pakistan and ultimately killed Osama bin Laden. This is what bin Laden's compound looked like after the attack. The president was not 100% certain bin Laden was there. But the Navy SEALs launched the surgical strike and a firefight ensued. 40 minutes of an intense operation and firefight where U.S. forces killed public enemy number one, Osama bin Laden, one of his adult sons, two couriers, and a woman used as a shield by one of the male members of Al-Qaeda. With one U.S. helicopter lost due to mechanical failure, the SEALs carried bin Laden's dead body onto the remaining helicopter and left the compound back to Afghanistan. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat Al-Qaeda. At the White House, it was a day fraught with tension. At 1 p.m., all the principal members of the president's national security team convened in the Situation Room. An hour later, the president and his principal advisors carefully reviewed the final preparations, and the mission set out. By 3.50, the president received first word that bin Laden may have been identified. By 7 p.m., the president was told it was indeed bin Laden, and with news that the Navy SEALs were all safe and back in Afghanistan, jubilation, hugs, and relief. It was only two days earlier, Friday morning at 8.20 a.m., when the president authorized the operation. At my direction. The United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. And in the streets in front of the White House, celebration. Osama bin Laden was buried at sea at 2 a.m. Eastern time in accordance with Islamic law. And Diane, some more information that we're finding out today. This was actually Plan B. Originally in March, President Obama authorized uh, a bombing of the compound by two B-2 stealth bombers dropping a few dozen 2,000-pound bombs. But President Obama was told that there wouldn't necessarily be any evidence bin Laden had been killed. And so they changed it to this more risky mission.